everyone and welcome to another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. Our guest today has been in the news in the recent past when Google delisted the company's app from Google Play Store. He has been one of the leading proponents in voicing concerns of the India, Indian startup ecosystem when it comes to GPPS, that is the Google Play Billion system. I am pleased to welcome Mr. Murgavel Jankiraman, founder and CEO of Matrimony.com. Sir, thank you so much for taking time out. Oh, thank you for the opportunity. So, just want to start off with uh, you know with the de- uh, recent delisting of over hundred apps from matrimony of matrimonies from Google Play Store. This has been an ongoing issue, and the delisting happened despite ongoing legal proceedings at the Competition Commission of India and also at the Supreme Court. Now, post the government's intervention, the apps are back on Google Play Store. How do you look back at the past week and what transpired? So first of all, I want to uh, share my deep appreciation to our honourable ministers, uh, Sri Ashwini Vaishnoji and uh, Sri Raju Chandrasekhar ji, because when the apps uh, were deleted on Friday afternoon, because Google sent a, a, an email uh, a note somewhere in the morning around uh, 10 or 11, and uh, another couple of hours they started deleting a lot of apps. It's not only for matrimony.com; they deleted. Uh, Apps of various company may know that Matthew alone over 150 apps uh, got deleted. We also know that, you know, Nakri, you know, Shadi, there's so many other companies, apps were also deleted. So that came with a big shock, uh, considering that, uh, you know, it's in Supreme Court and CCA also reviewing the matter because our contention was that, well, there is a clear verdict, Google has been not adhering to the CCA verdict. He went to the contravention uh, petition to CCI, CCI reviewing the matter. For whatever reason, for one year, they did not pick up the matter. Now they heard the matter, the judgment is awaited. And what was the urgency for Google to you know, send an email on Friday, that one Friday, and deleting apps at the end of the day, you know, by night, all the apps are gone. So thanks to Honorable Minister, they openly told that, no, we don't allow this kind of a behavior of Google, you know, deleting apps and all. that gave a lot of confidence to us. Then, you know, thankfully the government got involved, the ministers got involved in spread of busy schedule. They called both the parties, understood the issue. Uh, one of the immediate asks from our side was not one of the immediate asks from our side was get our apps back as it was pre to the uh, the, the delisting. So Google has agreed. Now that all our apps are back on Play Store after four days for us, matrimony. Well, others uh, immediately complained very next day, they complete the Google billing payment system uh, because they want to get our apps back. Uh, our case, uh, majority of apps, almost more than 90% apps, uh, we decided uh, not to accept it till till we got some clarity. And uh, finally, all our apps got reinstated uh, as of yesterday early morning. Uh, sir, Google believes that it has the right to implement the business uh, model, its own business model. While the homegrown app developers remain committed to non GPPS systems. So, while the stalemate continues, what is the way ahead? What do you see? The, how do you see the way ahead? So, there's the thing about uh, the issue about not about you know, the GPPS. GPPS, the way it's implemented. Okay. What Google is telling that, okay, let me, let me talk about the, the multiple things about how the, uh, Google sort of in a way. You know, communicating, it's appears that, you know, what is wrong in uh, in asking, you know, people to implement GPPS. The companies, app developers, you know, use various third-party payment gateways, spend between 1 to 2 percentage for all the payment process, processing services. So someone paying money on Bharat Matrimony, use the various payment gateway like Reser Pay, PayU, various payment gateway. The charges of UPN are very less. It's almost close to zero percentage. So it's very from zero percentage, you know, close to zero percentage to maybe one point five percentage. Okay, what Google is telling that Bharat Matrimony should use only Google Billing Payment System, pay fifteen percentage compared to one point five percentage what you pay for other payment gateways. So why? Okay, because the market charges one percentage or one point five percentage. Google say. You are forced to use if you don't use my only billing payment system, which is 10 times more, 20 times more, which is like some other company they want to have 30%. Tell me, you know, something, you know, you are an operating environment, 
okay suddenly want to come you know because if google is able to do all those things because google control the app ecosystem 95% markets in india they are able to do all those things okay if you don't do that i'll remove the app from the play store they forcing companies look guys either accept or you are out it's more like putting gun on your head okay do you want to sign this paper imagine imagine the movie the show no the villain comes okay so the paper okay sign are they going to kill you hey that's what they've been doing it not that in send that okay either accept or app it deleted so that has happened even nakri and shari dot com on the very next day they accept the concept model because they say look otherwise the app will be out of the play store imagine what the app developer smart app developer do that you know when someone threatening that look your app will be deleted and the thing is about not about gpps they say look you you are use only my pilly payment system or the app will be deleted google with three option one is gpps which is 15 to 30 percent date the other one is they say called user choice of billing what is user choice of billing you are allowed to use third party payment gateways but but still you have to share 11 to 26 percent with google even if you allow to use that party still i have to pay 11% of my revenue to google or 26% of my revenue to google okay that is a usage choice of billing second option google allows you to use that party billing mm-hmm. but still forces you to share the financial data and you have to pay 11 to 20% of your revenue to google that's a second choice usage choice of billing the ta- third option google calls as consumption model what is the consumption model is that you are not allowed to collect payment at all the basically the thing is about it's not about the google billing payment issue is being bundled it being forced not mm-hmm. a selective mm-hmm. what selective is that google mm-hmm. telling only the companies okay. operating which services jobs education mm-hmm. matrimony media entertainment mm-hmm. only this company to pay mm-hmm. that's an applicable for e-commerce companies mm-hmm. food delivery companies mm-hmm. travel companies mm-hmm. hey, there are hundreds of companies probably they may consume more what are the place to this company exempted that that's a separate it's not that you know it's, it's a it's a uniform okay uh, thing on that that's also wrong you can't enforce bundle it all the because you are is restricted trade practices as a monopoly you are doing a restricted trade practices compared to market which charge 1 1.5 you are want to charge 10 times okay i think that is the wrong thing okay assume that you know you are the only cement manufacturer in india okay yes. suddenly tell me hey, my price is going to go by Okay, 100 percent is off. Other is not going to sell you at all. Okay, see when you are the competitor, when a multiple player, the market is determine the prices. Okay, no one company has the opportunity to increase what are the price. Since Google being 90 percent, they are able to do all those things because they say they are going to delete your apps. Uh, you mentioned the word monopoly and about Google's dominance. So, do you believe, or is there any chance that this can happen again? So that's a that's a challenge uh, that's a fear because google control 90% of app, app uh, reach in india they are such a dominant player okay whether they do it again i'm not sure but they can because being such a thing until otherwise the government takes necessary steps to prevent that happening again government intervened now because the minister made it very clear look this is not acceptable if it become a law okay there is a digital competition act is coming if they are able to make it as a part of law then google cannot do it currently sort of is nothing prevents from them doing it cuz it look you are not following my policy they can delete it who decide the policy google decide the policy tomorrow google can change the policies as soon as google take tomorrow i don't want to operate play store for matrimony services okay i'm, I'm just telling for discussion purpose tomorrow google say sorry our play store is not for matrimony services okay it's a private company you know see internet is supposed to be free 20 years ago when i set up website we set up website we promote our business only we are, we are abide by the laws of the land today is a google you have to also abide by the laws of the google so internet access happen through apps apps is controlled by google it's important that we to understand the implication of this one is google to conduct in a responsible manner good and a lot of great thing i have immense respect for google for what they achieved the concern has been that they are abusing the dominant is the issue so moving on how would you assess the performance of matrimony.com uh, in this uh, this year and what is the growth that you've seen and how are you looking to close the financial year 
See, we've been growing of CAGR of around 7% in the likes of consumer uh, growth story in India. But definitely, we are taking steps to uh, accelerate our growth. Uh, we are looking at launching new initiatives. We are going to launch love.com, luv.com. is a matchmaking uh, uh, app for people to want to find a meaningful love. We announced the launch of Mera Love, exclusive dating platform for Indian Americans. Uh, so we have some new initiatives uh, which are which planned to launch. So we hope that combination of the new initiatives plus the, there are plans to accelerate a growth in existing services that we are operating. And uh, for elite matrimony, we also started setting up kiosk in the airport. In some other airport, we said elite matrimony kiosk. So we are looking at some new initiatives, uh, new expansion strategies. We hope that a combination of uh, both in new initiatives plus the uh, but the strategy working on driving the growth in the existing initiatives, you hope for better growth uh, in the coming years. You know, you just uh, highlighted some of your new business models. That was your weddingbazaar.com, mandal.com, uh, and mm-hmm. communitymatrimony.com. Can you elaborate a little bit more? How did this, uh, you know, help your company and what did it add to the bottom line? What has been the additional? Uh... See, weddingbazaar, mandal.com, uh, I've been there for uh, quite some time. And uh, so this year, the plan is to, uh, you know, I've been working on to uh, get to the break-even level. Hope uh, coming quarters, we'll be able to achieve the break-even of these business. Mandar.com is a venue discovery platform. There are people looking at uh, booking a wedding venue. We have close to our, our over 50,000 venues listed on Mandar.com. So that wedding bazaar is a marketplace for wedding services. Uh, one wants to uh, find a photographer, makeup artist, uh, planners, and main the, uh, main the, main the artist. And they can uh, find uh, those people in our platform. It's a marketplace for wedding services. So last year, I just want to also get one uh, input from you on your marketing. You've had fabulous campaigns last year, mm-hmm. be it the controversial but really thought-provoking holy campaign. Then you, when you introduce Arvind Iyer AI, and now also your recent campaign with uh, Vidya Balan, which focused on cyber security, mm-hmm. which focused on you know the importance of being safe online. Mm. So how has your marketing and advertising also evolved this year? So my, my credit goes to my marketing team. Uh, they did a great job. And uh, so even our TV campaign on matchmaking is uh, finding life partner based on hobbies and interests. So because a lot of youngsters, they look for match, uh, you know, matching their uh, hobbies and interests. So that was uh, the current TV campaign we do for BharatMatrimony.com. So we continue to look at uh, the core insights, okay? Because for Bharat Mantra, it's always been that helping people to find the uh, you know right life partner or and uh, help them with a happy married life. So we look for the core insight. In fact, one of the commercials which I rated as the top ten commercial top uh, by Economic Time ten years ago, or I don't know exactly which year. The Sudha we call it Sudha commercial internally is basically uh, how the husband is supporting the wife. She wants to work because the thing is about you know so get married to someone who cares for what you love was inside. If you are really passionate about work, get married to someone who is working with that. If you don't get married to that person, obviously you know that person you don't work. Or if you want to be a dancer, get married to someone who who support your passion. So if you are okay. passionate about something, get married to someone who who support your passion. That was thing. because majority of women wants to work. They want to get married to the husband who are working with the woman working in all the. So that was the thing. I think equality can be the doni because they, they, that's why equality in the relationship. But like then we always look for the. It's not about for a campaign campaign. For us about the core insight or the transformation we want to bring to the society. It's important that you know there's equality in the relationship. That the doni comes to launch equality. Like that you look for core insight for the marketing not being okay communicating the brand, a communicating either core insights or transforming the changes which you want to bring to the society. So, would you be looking at upping your advertising uh, adex or advertising revenue next year? Are you yeah, looking yeah, to we, increase yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We spend around 170 crore on marketing every year. Yeah, every year the marketing spend uh, it, it continues to rise. Yeah, it, it may further go up. So, you know, privacy is very indiv- important for all individuals because, particularly when it comes to women, you know, who put out their details on the website, on the on the app, and the website. So, and this is also related to cyber security measures. So, can you just tell us, you know, what are the cyber security measures that you have undertaken to curb cyber frauds? Yeah. See, one thing what I've seen is that uh, I think thanks to the 
the growth of social media uh, today actually people are putting lot more information everywhere okay today people are i, I don't think any more of this kind of inhibition of uh, you know putting information in fact today people are putting much more photos on social media much more thing on everywhere so when you started it was not the case in fact matrimony one of the said where put the photos now today all the like instagram other thing like you know facebook uh, which was not even there when you started okay so that being the case actually you know people have, people are sharing information that's it's not an issue and uh, and also we given all the control to the users so it is the user choice what they want to show what they want to limit okay if they want a photo i my one my photo is to be seen only by the people who my contact or accept that option is there so like the lot of control my phone number whether i want to keep it uh, you know only to the paid members or no, i don't want anyone even to see the phone number i think for our thing about yes it is about your your profile you have the complete control over what information you want to show what information you don't want to show if there are certain things, if you have the photo open you get a better response if you don't have the photo open yeah the response goes down it is choice you have to exercise and all the thing but as a as a platform you given all the choices to the user so you also recently launched mera love an exclusive dating app for americans what prompted this move to this dating app space from the matrimony space see what happened i was in the us uh, i i went to the us uh, in the year 1996 so a lot of my friends uh, you know because we had the at that time i was 24 25 years old uh, a lot of my friends uh, you know all a lot of indians moved to the us in the late 90s today a lot of friends in the us and uh, today they are son of daughter either the children born in india now all become us citizens or the children born in the us are us citizens today they are around 23 24 that's a, that's a age group and they are pretty much american Why that Indian? But again, it is a combination Indian plus American. They want to date. At the same time, there is a preference of a want to date Indian person to to large extent. Okay, I think that's the population had grown over a period of time because late nineties where the first wave of migration happened to the US that continued even post two uh, thousand also. But so I think we see there's an opportunity uh, for uh, Indian Americans because they want to date dating and they want to the preference about do a dating. among indians so we thought why not try it out as to see dating of indian americans and see how it goes so so it's one of the well see matrimony known for is all various segmentation we run 300 plus matrimony site you know religion community special site we thought okay let's have one more this offering and see how it goes If the service becomes successful here probably may expand to other countries also uh, so you know tinder and all have also become quite popular in india particularly with the gen z generation so would you look at also extending um, mera love to india and other markets india is love.com luv.com we are going to launch love.com in the next couple of months it's not okay. a dating site it's a relationship site it help people to find a meaningful relationship it's basically a uh, you know there are people okay i want to fall in love and i want to interact or you know you know spend time or I mean talk to each other understand better there, there are people have different uh, approach towards uh, how they want to get married okay people come to matrimony site you know they search contact they also have the feeling of okay i am in control of my thing uh, they have the feeling of okay falling in love through matrimony site now this another choice of falling in love through love.com so it's a, it's a choice given to you sir matrimony mode look okay, come uh, see prospect talk to them understand uh, get married the, you know the immediate uh, goal is in love.com doesn't the immediate goal of getting married that that may people want to take immediate goal out but mostly to fall in love then you decide when you want to get married and finally sir looking ahead what else can we expect from matrimony.com in terms of new initiative you've just mentioned a new launch expansion growth what can you tell us Yeah, we are. Uh, we we'll continue to look at uh, what are the opportunities uh, in the matchmaking space. Uh, Mara Love and Love dot com uh, is an outcome of that uh, strategy. Can you look for opportunity to to expand and try to get into some adjacent areas as possible? Yeah, we we'll continue to evaluate those options. So thank you so much for taking time out from your busy schedule. Thank you so much again for taking time out to speak to us. Thank you, thank you, Sanjay. Thank you, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.